Hello, I'm Dr. John McDougall. I've been talking to you about eating a diet of plant foods, but you know what I refer to this diet as? I, I call this a starch-based diet because the diet's centered around common starchy vegetable foods like potatoes and sweet potatoes and corn and rice and beans, peas, and lentils. That's the McDougall diet. And what people think about when you tell them you're on that kind of diet is the first thing they think about is, oh no, where do you get your calcium? You're going to become calcium deficient. Your bones are going to dissolve. You're going to get osteoporosis. You're going to get all kinds of illness if you exclude uh, dairy or don't supplement with calcium supplements. But, you know, that's not the truth. I mean, you can start proving to yourself it's not the truth by just thinking about the fact that no other animal consumes dairy products after they wean or milk after they wean. And uh, uh, no animal consumes milk from another species. You've heard about that, uh, that statement before, haven't you? But it, it's worth thinking about and worth repeating. Also think about uh, world history. Uh, think about populations of people still living today on planet Earth. It's just a, a, a habit of people on the Western diet to consume all that milk, thanks to the dairy industry. Uh, people from Africa, they don't drink milk. As a matter of fact, people from Africa who try and drink milk, I'm talking about the, the black Africans, what happens is they have lactose intolerance, they get sick when they consume dairy products. So how about the people from Asia? Same thing. They get sick. They don't consume dairy products. And they have normal adult skeletons, don't they? In fact, some of them are quite large, quite tall, and uh, they never have any difficulty getting all the calcium they need from starches, vegetables, and fruits. Or look at other animals. How about some really biggies like elephants, hippopotamuses, and giraffes? Do they drink milk? Don't think so. Do they eat plants? Yes, they do. There is no such thing as dietary calcium deficiency. In other words, no person has ever developed a disease due to too little calcium in their diet. I know, some of you are thinking about osteoporosis. Not true. We've discussed that. Osteoporosis is due to an excess of animal protein and acid. Well, we're a good ways along our understanding of better nutrition. So get rid of the idea that you need to consume milk or take some calcium supplements to get enough calcium. I'm Dr. John McDougall. Thank you for listening.